As you may be aware, ST already has a series of GNSS positioning chips that would typically be used in automotive applications. It's known as the Tessio family. This family of products is renowned for its robustness, really important for the automotive world, and accuracy for geolocalization. And Luis here is going to tell us more about the next steps the company is taking. Luis. Uh, hi, Chris. Yes, that's true. Geolocalization is very demanding, especially in the automotive market. However, we found out that our chips are very robust and uh, they come a long way since the 1990s. And we decided also to go to other markets like mass market, IoT, uh, threat security, and uh, insurance. So we want to focus also on these other markets because we are already coming from the automotive, very demanding. So we can actually fill the other ones with geolocalization is necessary. So you set the bar so high, now anything that involves geolocalization? That's correct. We started in automotive, we come from the automotive environment. So we found out actually that our customers, especially for trackers, for Internet of Things, need this robustness uh, that we can push them from automotive, our own experience and use in other areas. So, Luis, are there any particular products you would like to highlight? Most definitely. So looking at this table, starting from the left to the right, we have here this evaluation board with the ZIL DRAW. DRAW stands for Dead Reckoning Automotive Way, where inside we have actually a MEMS IMU, so a six degrees of freedom inertial sensor. Uh, we can connect to the car odometry where we collect the wheel ticks from the car and then of course with the Teseo providing the Genesis position we do complete sensor fusion and you can navigate anywhere open sky, indoors, tunnels and all the all the demanding scenarios from customers. Then moving here we have as we mentioned before for the IoT mass market the Teseo module we actually open the doors for customers to do their own development. We have this X nuclear board the MEMS uh, sorry the ST Genesis is inside and then we did, we give also to the customers the possibility together with the STM32 MCU family to develop their own algorithms and port to the device and the customers can use in any applications from IoT, trusted security, insurance and telematics. To finalize, we have a new complete new product, it's actually not even qualified but we already showing to the market where we take all this knowledge from the mass market is your module and we qualify it for automotive. So we start with automotive, going mass market, coming back to automotive with the modules. It's called Tizio Vic, brings already MEMS IMU embedded, just like the Tizio Draw, but allows customers to put anywhere in the car where you want to have this module. So if anybody watching this wants to start developing an application, what do they do? Well, we have many tools actually, you can see here in our screen, Tizio Suite is one of our you know, PC-based uh, GUI where customers actually can attach like this one. Uh, they can very quickly start seeing how the data looks like, collect it in their cars, and assess the performance. But even if they want to go further and actually develop their own algorithms, we develop new tools using the X nuclear boards, where actually, this one actually is inside this module, where you have the Tezio inside module, and then uh, with the STM32 family of uh, MEPCUs, you can develop your software, you know, for asset tracking, for IoT, and embed in our uh, MCUs. Great stuff, Luis. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much.